Hi everyone, welcome back to Life Technologies YouTube channel and thank you for watching and supporting our channel. So as a network engineer, you have to be familiar with operating and managing routing and switching devices from different vendors. And we know that we have many vendors in this networking domain. We have Nokia, we have Cisco, we have Huawei, we have Juniper, we have ZTE and many, many other vendors that manufacture networking devices like the routers, the firewalls, the switches, uh, wireless access points, wireless controllers. So you need to be able to operate and manage these networking devices from different vendors. And as you are aware that a service provider network or an enterprise network normally have many vendors we can have firewalls from checkpoint we can have routers from nokia we can have switches from huawei or juniper so you need to be able to operate and manage these devices from multiple vendors and it's always a plus when a network engineer is able to operate multi-vendor environments so you need to know the basic cli commands you need to be able to know the syntax and the basic and advanced command that you can use when you are configuring or troubleshooting the protocols or even when you are checking the health status of the device you need to be familiar with such commands for your daily operations of the network so uh, we have a huawei lab simulation series on our channel that focuses on simulating networking protocols and technologies on huawei routing and switching devices if you are not familiar or if you haven't checked it out, please check it out and we'll be publishing more videos on Huawei routing and switching devices. So just subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos on that series. So today we are starting a new series on our channel that is uh, Nokia Lab Simulations where we'll be demonstrating how to implement different networking technologies or networking protocols like OSPF, ISIS, BGP, MPLS, segment routing, and ETC or Nokia routing and switching devices. So the same way you have been doing on Huawei, uh, demonstrating or implementing different networking technologies on Huawei routing and switching devices, we are now starting a new series and we'll be focusing on how to implement these different networking protocols and technologies on Nokia routing and switching devices. So if you are interested in understanding how to implement these different protocols and networking architectures on Nokia devices, or you want to be familiar on how to configure on the configuration syntax for Nokia, just uh, click that subscribe button and Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos on Nokia simulations, on Nokia lab simulations. So uh, part one of this series, we'll just focus on demonstrating some simple CLI commands that we can use on Nokia devices. So if you are given a Nokia device or if uh, you have a new Nokia device, maybe a router, a switch in your network, how will you go ahead to manage it? There are some basic commands that you need to be familiar with for you to be able to operate and manage the Nokia devices. So that's where we'll be focusing on in this uh, episode, just to make you familiar on the basic command that we'll be using when we are doing other configurations. When we start configuring the protocols and uh, implementing different networking technologies like the one we have done for Huawei. Remember we have uh, the IPRAN series on our channel. Also check it out. We'll do a similar implementation on how to implement IPRAN architectures on Nokia routers. So check it out also and yeah. Let's start our episode for today. So we are focusing on just basic commands that you can use on Nokia routing and switching devices. So the first thing that you need to be able to do is to configure the system name for your router. So it's always a best practice when you are integrating a new device, you need to give it a meaningful name. So how do you configure the system name? 
or Nokia, we normally use the configure command. So you can see I'm logged into a router here. This is a Nokia router. So the first thing that we need to be able to do is to configure the system name. And you need to use this command, uh, configure. Once you enter the configure command, you can enter the system. So it's configure system name. And then you enter the name that you want to configure as the name of this router. So we can call it Nairobi. Maybe it's P02. And sometimes you need to also specify the router type SR2S. Is it 01 or 02? This one will be 01. So you give it a name, configure system name, Nairobi P02 SR2S01 and then click enter so you can see that it takes effect immediately because we are in the classic cli so there are different cli modes you can have the classic cli or the md cli but today we are just focusing on how to do basic configuration and basic show commands so with this one we have configured the system name to nairobi p02 sr2s01 so that is how simple it is to configure the system name once you have configured the system name, uh, we'll go ahead and check on some shortcut that you can use when you are managing and operating these devices. So we have the question mark, we have the tab, we have space. These are just some shortcuts that you can use. But before we go to the shortcuts, let's first check the show command. So on Huawei, you have been using the display command. On Nokia, we use the show command. So when I type in the show command, we can use a question mark. Maybe you don't know the next command that you need to enter. We can use the question mark and it will give you details of the available commands. So from here, you can see that it's giving us details of the available command and simple description of what the command does. So for example, I can run show users. It will give me the user that are logged into the system. I can run show version. Gives me the version of this router. I can even run show uptime. You can see that it's giving me the system uptime, 16 hours. So the show command and then you enter the question mark. It gives you the available options. Sometimes maybe you don't know the full command. For example, I don't know how to type system. So I will just enter SY and I can either press space or tab to autocomplete the command. Once have, I have the show system, I can still use the question mark and it will give me the available options. So you have the tab and space for autocomplete. And many times we use them very oftenly. Another thing that you need to also be familiar with are the keyboard shortcut that you can use. We have Control A, Control E, and Control W. So for example, let me say I have run that command configure system name, and then I want to configure to maybe it's router one Nairobi P01. And then SR2S. This is 01. So I want to configure this as the system name. So I've typed the command and maybe I want to go back at the beginning of this command. I will press Control A. You can see that the cursor goes back to the beginning of this command. Or I can press Control E. So when I press Control E, it goes to the end. Sometimes maybe I've entered a wrong parameter and I want to change this parameter. I will use Control W. So check when i press control w it will clear the it is erasing the last the name that we had here if i press it again the name will disappear if i press again system will disappear i press again so it's an easy way to erase a command that you don't want or maybe you just want to change a given parameter so we have control a control e and control w very handy shortcut that you'll be using very common 
So we have talked about the question mark, the tab, the space, control A, control E, and control W. The next thing we need to understand is to save the configuration. So once you have done your configuration, of course, you need to do save command. You need to be able to save this command so that if there is a reboot on the device, you will still have the configurations. So to save the command, you run the command admin save and then press enter. So admin save saves the configuration on the device. You can see it's completed. Uh, how do we display the current configurations on the device? So you use admin display config. Admin display config. You can see that we have uh, the configurations, all the configurations, the current configurations on the device. Sometimes maybe you want to filter. How do you filter? The same way you have been using the pipe command, you can also use the pipe command on Nokia routers. So I will run this admin display config pipe and then and a question mark. You can see that we have merge, we have count, we have reverse DNS and they are simple explanation of what these options does. So we can use the merge command. Maybe I just want to see the name. And then there are, mal there are other options. You can do the context all. You can use pre lines or post lines. So when I do context all, it will only pick these sections with the name. Remember, we were merging the name. So it has picked only these and it's showing all the configuration context with the word name or with the string name. So once, so you can use the pipe command always to merge the configuration that you want. Another thing that you need to do is uh, how do you check the ports, the ports of the device. So you can run show port command and it will give you the ports on the device. So you can see the port IDs, these are the ports, the status, uh, the SFPs. So these are 100 G ports and you can see the ports on slot A, slot B. And if you want to see a specific port, we can show port. one maybe c1 you can see the details of this port i will scroll up just so that we can see more information license admin state is up operation state is down last state change you can see other details like the transceiver status operational the model number the part number and even the power levels, transceiver, digital, diagnostic, monitoring. So you can see all these details available on your, when you run the show port, show port, port number, command. Sometimes you can put the optical just to see only the optical levels for this specific port. Another thing that you can see, how do you check the status of the protocol? So you can show router or show protocols. Let's try show protocols. Show router protocols. Show router, show router. Show router maybe OSPF, the protocol. You can see that we don't have an OSPF. So let's use the question mark again. You can see that we can display the OSPF, BGP, show protocol. We don't have that command. Show router. When you enter the show router and then you end a question mark you also have multiple options you can check the interfaces you can check protocol status or spf isis bgp and many many other details that you can check when you are using this command 
So another thing that you need to be able is to check the system uptime. Show system uptime. Just show uptime. We'll be able to show you the uptime. Show version gives you the version. Sometimes how do you exit? For example, I mentioned that we need to be in the configuration level. So when I do configure and I do maybe system, I can use the exit command to move to the previous level. So when I use exit, you can see that we are now in the configuration. I, I can do exit again and I'm back to the level that we started from. I can also use exit all, so configure system, and then I can use exit all command, and it takes me back to the route where we started, when we started running the configuration or that config line. So remember, admin save to save the configuration, admin display config, to display all the configuration you can use a question mark you can use tab space you can use control a control e control w you can display the status of the ports you can show system alarm gives you the alarms on the router you can display the status of the port show port So these are just some basic commands that we'll be using when we are configuring different protocols or different networking technologies on Nokia routing and switching devices. So I hope you have enjoyed this session. And if you have enjoyed, please uh, click that like button and also uh, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question, you have any comment, you have any clarification that you need from us, feel free to leave a comment in our comment section and we'll be glad to reach out to you and support. Thank you again for watching and see you in our next episode.